everyone, and welcome to the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. I'm Kevin Shea. I'm joined alongside by the head coach of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Team, Bill Gibbons. We're back for another back year. Back for another. Back and, in the uh, saddle. Back in the saddle again, and you guys are off to a good start. Five games in, four on the road. You're three and two. Very easily could have been four and one. The, the Hofstra game went right down to the wire. Right. Yeah. We're, uh, pleased so far. Would love to be four and one, but had four tough games on the road. Won our home opener in overtime yesterday, uh, Kev. So. I don't think we had our third win till the middle of January last year, so to have it in November is good. And uh, I like this team. Uh, I talked about chemistry. We've talked all the air, on the air that our kids got along last year, but there was no chemistry. So from the get-go in the spring, uh, the Mike Rogers, our chaplain, I called him, got us out to our beautiful new uh, Joyce Contemplative Center in uh, West Boylston. Uh, had a dinner out there, talked, and then I asked him if we could do a retreat in the preseason and overnight it's very hard to get in there he arranged it he did a great job uh, had all the coaches and staff uh, um, and players out there managers had a great connection had the program come in the navy seals and i think it has paid benefits because we're much more cohesive much more so whatever coaches say uh you know chemistry doesn't matter winning breeds chemistry i say What's fed it's wrong. That. It's right, wrong. Right, right. Chemistry breeds chi- right, right. No question about it. It's Any the chicken and the egg, and that comes first. Yeah, exactly. That comes exactly. first. And you talked about the program, and that's the former Navy SEALs that come in, and uh, right. they were hired to come up here on campus and to work with just a few teams. They're not working with no, every all team. teams. No, we were but one of the teams this year. They're working Correct. with a few teams, a lot of preseason stuff. Right. What what was it like because everyone you know has seen on the Discovery Channel or has seen you know documentaries, and obviously right. it's it's one of the most uh, grueling. Uh, regiments that they go through right. in, the, in the elite, you know, in the entire right. world of right. military special operations and Navy right. SEALs. Well, you don't, you don't think of it, but they talk about being a great teammate. Being a great teammate and being a great leader. Leaders uh, take care of their teammates and accomplish the mission. So well, what do you mean, the Navy SEALs? Well, that, everything is, a, you know, a lot more important than a basketball game, right. but that's what they talk about. And then do your job as a teammate, all right? Do your job and, and, and be a good teammate and, and hold others accountable. On the team, so that was it. We were out on the on the uh, football field, practice field, from uh, six o'clock to nine o'clock one night. Then we were in the pool at five thirty the next morning. Not the coaches, thank goodness, but the team. <laughs> and who your leaders come to the forefront, right? You know, so we hadn't voted on captains, so we voted after oh, see, that's the program, great. which was good. And uh, Trisha, Katie, and Infinity came to the forefront as clear cut our captain. So that started it. But I think about being a teammate holding us accountable, you know, be a great teammate was the big thing, and the connection was there, then the retreat topped it off. So I really like this team. Uh, my wife, Lisa, talks about it all the time. It just, she feels it at the right. games. She feels it on the bus that it's just much more connected, and it's going to carry over onto the court. So for coaches out there or, or whoever, uh, all your teams get along, but it's about connection. You right. know, get that connection, and it'll lead to more wins. And it's interesting, too, in terms of the workouts, uh, how much do you think helps the team physically with the Navy SEAL workouts and how much was it mentally and chemistry yeah. and cohesive and more learning lessons about leaning on each other and helping each other? Yeah, even though it was physically demanding, you know, like they had to do uh, flutter kicks all together. They had to do jumping jacks all together. It couldn't be, they all had to be right. in unison. So the, the physical part was tough, but more the mental of focusing on when Trisha says attack, we're going, you know, and right. we're not going one, two, three, one. She's going one, two, three, and we're all saying one. Right. Well, little things, while you're doing that, it's the mental toughness, Kev, which, right. uh, which really helped. And the little things always add up to big things. I think of the great quote from Dave Cowens, fatigue makes cowards exactly. of us all. Great one. And, you know, great I mean, one. he was such a tenacious uh, yep. player, and it's, and it's something probably more than anything, working, learning to work through your fatigue, to work past right where you thought you would stop, right. and to push others on your team to do the right. same. We're going to meet the team uh, in a little bit here, but I do want to mention this, too, because the 3-2 and two start, I look at last year, and last year, Infinity Thomas Waheed led you in scoring with 13-point-something. Lauren Manis was second with 13-point-something. Right. Those two right now, uh, Manis averages 21 a game, and Infinity Thomas Waheed averaging 19 mm-hmm. a game. So a huge scoring jump from right. your two leading scorers from a year ago. What's the difference there, and how different are they as players? Yeah, they're, well, they're both. Infinity has just, in her senior year, just brought it to another level, leadership-wise and on the court, confidence scoring. 
And Lauren, the, the great quote, and we'll talk about all our sophomores have gone from here to here, but especially Lauren, being rookie of the year, she didn't rest on her laurels. She's right. stronger, she's quicker, she's got better post moves, so she's just taking her game to the next level, and that's been key. And the other girl that stepped up is Trisha Byrne. Coach Carmen and I talk all the time. You're gonna have three scorers in right. each game. If you have two, you're probably gonna lose. If you have three above, you know, they can give you 10 or 12 every game. Right. And in our free wins, we've had three that have had more than 10 or 12, so it's prophetic. But that's a key point. When you're putting the ball in the basket, it takes pressure off you on the defensive Right. Team. All right, and we'll meet the team when we come back, and we'll talk about Trisha Byrne, too, coming off the bench and being the third leading scorer on the team. That's all coming up next as the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show continues. Bay State Savings Bank brings you Kasasa. What's Kasasa? It's a catchy word for earning cash that just might make you want to dance. Get paid for doing simple things you do anyway. That's free Kasasa checking. Ask for Kasasa by name at Bay State Savings Bank, proud sponsor of the Friday Night Football Frenzy. What you said, Wine and Spirits, where you'll shop in comfort one of the area's largest selection of over 1,500 domestic, international, and craft beers. A wide selection of fine domestic and international wines for any occasion, as well as unique premium liquors and handcrafted spirits. Wachusett staff is committed to exceptional customer service and finding specialty items for their customers. Visit WachusettLiquors.com for monthly specials and gift certificates. Route 12 West Boylston, across from the manor. Percy's is a proud sponsor of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. At Percy's, we've got it all. Appliances, electronics, televisions, and more. Percy's, 19 Glenny Street in Worcester, right off of Gold Star Boulevard. Visit us online at percys.com. Established in 1939, Standard Auto is a name that you can trust. With over 40 acres of early and late model parts, Standard Auto has what you need. Bring us your worn out or used cars. Call us last for the best prices. Standard Auto, 257 Granite Street in Worcester. It's Meze Greek Tapas Bar and Grill, Worcester's only authentic Greek Tapas, 156 Shrewsbury Street in Worcester. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. O'Connor's Restaurant and Bar, 1160 West Boylston Street in Worcester. Welcome to the Compass Tavern. At the Compass, we offer a delicious menu featuring the best American style and New England dishes made from scratch in our kitchen. Whether it's lunch, dinner, or special celebrations, the Compass Tavern is the place to go. Welcome back, everyone. Coaches, we went to break. You and I were talking about the scoring on the team and how it's, how it's elevated. Last year, you averaged as a team 54 points a game. This year, through five games, 73 points a game. Mm -hmm. Almost a 20-point jump. Huge. It obviously can't be one or two players, and you mm -hmm. talked about you and Coach Carmody say you need three, but it's more than just three players to jump your team scoring up 20 points yeah. a game. And it's more an assist, uh, a system. You know, we've, we changed our offense. Uh, We've had a lot of uh, big guys uh, banged up. So we had two healthy post players, Lauren and Miranda. The whole, so I give credit to my staff, Ann McInerney, Matt Reckay, Danny Parks, and our newest member, Sarah Hope, who you'll meet later on in the show. Um, we did a great job of going on a retreat on my porch in the preseason that Lisa made us a nice meal. Uh, and we talked about what offense can we run. And we ran the, we're running this point offense and a chess series that UConn runs. So it's more four guards around one. That's been a big reason for right. our scoring because our strength was in our guards. Janae's come in as a guard huge. And, and started and it's been huge. And we can play seven or eight guards. Now as we get forwards back, we might tweak that a little bit. But I think the system, along with guys being better off the dribble and working on it for six weeks in the preseason, has led to more points. Right. All right, now we're going to meet the team. And we're going to start with the seniors and work our way down. We start with senior senior Trisha Byrne. Uh, Trisha is coming off the bench for you, but she's the third leading scorer on the team. She's been a starter for you. She's been a, uh, a bench player for you. Again, one of your leaders. You said one of your captains. 
Right. Tell us about, about Trish. Trish is, you know, I said yesterday we needed her in the game because she picked us up defensively and made plays, and she's going to happen. I had a sleepless night two nights before the Lowell game, our first game, because Trisha had been out for with an injury. Katie Doherty had been out with an injury. Uh, Nicole uh, Morris and Madeline Smith had played the whole preseason and were playing really well. And in our scrimmages, they got us off to a good start. So I had to go to two seniors who had started last year right. and say, I'm going to use you coming off the bench. But, you know, we need you to accept that role. They said, whatever you need, coach. And that, I mentioned it in the Lowell locker room. They're still playing the same minutes, but it's hard not starting. Yes. It gave the two sophomores credit, um, confidence, right. but I give Trisha a lot of credit uh, that she's accepted that and Katie Darby. And now she likes her role of changing the game right. offensively, and I think she's going to be a real good player for us as we move into the Patriot League and going forward. Yeah, and you can't say enough about just how unselfish that is. Sacrifice. And also, right. what a leader it is, because if you have your senior saying, you start and you start, and I'm going to come off the bench, right. now no one on the team can complain, right. because she's giving up just that starting role. As you said, minutes are going to be the same, but it's still there's still a prestige with right. getting your name called and going right. out to midcourt. Right. Right. Now we look at Infinity Thomas Waheed, your second leading scorer, second leading rebounder. Uh, you know, does it all for you. She's a two-time Patriot League, uh, all-Patriot League player, including the, on the all-defensive team as a sophomore. Right. Talk about her game and, and what she means to the team well, and leadership as well. Leadership, I, you just hit on it, Kev. I think the biggest thing is leadership. And I think the program benefited us all, but it benefited many, Infinity, the, the most, because that took her to the next level. And uh, uh, I just think it's a matter of confidence from that leadership. But she can score against anyone uh, right now and she's playing with a lot of confidence and defensively she's actually our best defensive player we put her on the best defensive guard so she knows her role this year and it's got to be a leadership role in doing things on both ends we're going to move through a little quicker katie yep. doherty three-year starter for you same same thing had started every game so you talk about oh. trisha sacrificing katie sacrifice she's still going to be in at the end of the game because she's very solid very solid very fundamentally sounds knows exactly what we wanted to do. She inbounds the ball at key times late in the game. So Katie's going to know her role. She got a big hoop, uh, big three-pointer at Ryder. They had cut it. We were up 17. They had cut it, got it down to six. And it didn't look good. She hit a big three at the top of the key, got it up to nine. It never got closer to nine. Good Huge. job. Shannon Druck. Shannon Druck is the epitome of a, a true teammate. I, I She was sick the last two days. I texted her that I need we needed her back for the Sunday home open. She got herself better. She was great on the bench. Someone that gives you blood in practice, has not gotten the minutes, but epitomizes what this program is about and being a true teammate, uh, even though she doesn't play a lot of minutes. Amy has an hour. Amy's working see. hard to come back from the shoulder, hoping to be back for the Patriot League, and we'll be a boost. I, I, if anyone deserves to have a healthy January through March, it's Amy, because she's really worked hard with the tough shoulder injuries. Two juniors, Maggie Locke is your first one. Maggie's out for the year with, uh, again, some tough, tough luck, but we'll be back next year. Had surgery in the off season. Uh, is now in charge of our community events and been a, a kind of the leader of the, the bench and will do a good job and hopefully be back. And Miranda Nixon has got to be able to come in and spell Lauren. If it's eight minutes a game, 10 minutes a game, and in our three wins, save yesterday, in the two other big wins, Miranda was really excellent changing the game with her energy. Megan Sword, so that's your junior class. Right. Now you're only two in the junior class. Now five sophomores. sophomores. Five sophomores, Megan Sword starting us off. Just coming back, had really gotten it uh, and was starting to play really well in February. Had three rebounds in a minute and a half and tore her ACL at Colgate. Has fought her way all the way back. She's ahead of schedule. We were hoping to have her back for the Patriot League. Uh, Bryant was her first game, so she'll have three or four games under her belt and will be a force in the Patriot League. Madeline Smith, another girl who started for you as a freshman last year. Best. The best one on our team at running the team. Has, we talk about two tempo basketball caps, whether they have the break or run an offense. Smitty is the one that just has a feel, a quarterback feel, is going to have a really good year running the point for us. Catherine Petey, another one of your sophomores who got yeah. a lot of time last year. Best walk on since uh, Neil Armstrong, I'd say, and, <laughs> and actually earned the scholarship for next year. It's going to, has had uh, three threes in the first uh, game, first quarter of our first game to break the game open. Uh, is our best three-point shooter, but she's become more of a player for us 
going to have a big uh, sophomore season for us. And was a huge three-point uh, shooter in high school, too. Yes. Broke records Broke as, records a, as a high school player. Yep. Nicole Morris, another one of your sophomores who's giving you some scoring this year. Maybe, arguably, the biggest jump. The biggest jump confidence-wise and has been a terrific player for us. Is playing with so much confidence and so much better than last year. It's just really uh, at that two-guard position. Our second-best defensive player and is really finishing and playing well. And then Lauren Manish, your leading scorer, yeah. rebounder, Patriot League Rookie of the Year, All-Patriot right. League in the preseason All-Patriot League. First team, playing well. like a player of the year. You know, she's got to get little, no more frustration fouls, a little better on the defensive boards. I know we're counting on her a lot. But if she does those two things, she's certainly playing like a player of the year candidate. And had the huge hoop for you in the final seconds to tie it up this weekend against well, we Bryant, just to right. send it into overtime. But no, it, certainly when you watch the video of it, it, had the confidence that I want the ball, I'm taking it, I'm right. gonna score, tie it up, and we're going into OT. Exactly, exactly. Now looking at your freshman class, Janae Faulkner uh, has jumped right in and been a scorer for you and been a starter for you. Yeah, sometimes I think we can take her for granted, but just another solid player that's thrown in on a veteran team as a starter and just been you know, super missed the Hofstra game because of illness, and and we, we probably win that without, you know, with her. Uh, but just been really so hit a big three in overtime. It was four, got it to seven, and was really a dagger uh, the other day. But makes big plays from a great AAU team, from a great uh, high school team, knows how to win, three-sport athlete and has, uh, is going to be a real good one for him. Yeah, which is huge, the three-sport yep. athlete we talked about. Four-year yep. varsity player on soccer, two years at track, and then four years, right. obviously, with, with hoops. Uh, Mia Maza, another one of your freshmen. Yeah, walk-on from Chicago. Uh, has done a real nice job. Um, is uh, in the Harvard scrimmage. She had two big hoops late and was a proud uh, pleaser, a bench pleaser, I should say. But going to be a good uh, role player for us. And the last one, Shannon Murphy, just coming off a stress fracture, and we're going to need her at Brown because it's a, a matchup where we need an athletic four player, and that's what Shannon gives us. As she gets better, uh, more reps, she's going to get better and better. And a Massachusetts native from yes. Watertown. All right, that is this year's Lady Crusader team. We'll be back with more of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show right after this. Percy's is a proud sponsor of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. At Percy's, we've got it all. Appliances, electronics, televisions, and more. Percy's, 19 Glenny Street in Worcester, right off of Gold Star Boulevard. Visit us online at percys.com. The Bagel Inn, 785 Main Street, Route 122A in Holden. Open daily at 5.30 a.m. The Fix Burger Bar, handmade burgers, elixirs, and shakes for whatever ails you. Chick-fil-A in Worcester proudly supports the Holy Cross women's basketball team. Come on down to our brand new location at 80 Gold Star Boulevard in Worcester. Mark Bernier is your Worcester area Edward Jones financial advisor. Whether you're planning for retirement, college, or protecting your financial future, give Mark a call at 508-755-1213. Bay State Savings Bank brings you Casasa. What's Casasa? It's a catchy word for earning cash that just might make you want to dance. Get paid for doing simple things you do anyway. That's free Casasa checking. Ask for Casasa by name at Bay State Savings Bank. Proud sponsor of the Friday Night Football Frenzy. Welcome back, everyone. I'm joined by Sarah Hope, the Director of Basketball Operations for the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Team. And uh, Sarah, first is we'll talk about how you got the job and how you got into the business here of coaching. Yeah, so um, I was kind of looking for anything I could get. Um, like Coach Gibbons said, it's a tough business to crack into. So um, I just was calling everybody, emailing everybody I could. And I just called Coach Gibbons one day and I said, you know, I would love to volunteer or do anything if you have an opening of any sorts. I uh, didn't realize that only Ivy League has volunteer coaching at the time, but um, no, he was great and uh, said, you know, I do want to get a director of operations going, um, you know, look at other schools, but I'll let you know. Um, and one thing led to another, and I was just really lucky to get the job. 
Ian, it's it's interesting because you played for BU for four years, <laughs> so played against Holy Cross. Yep. Had that rivalry, the you know, and then Coach Gibbons recruited you yep. to come up here at Holy Cross, and you chose BU. So it was the second time around. I know. That it got you so. What was it like? What's it like now seeing the program from this side when you know you saw it wearing the you know the red and white uh, yeah. for the Terriers and, and them being the enemy? <laughs> I mean, I Holy Cross. Ever since I was getting recruited by Coach Gibbons, knew it was a great program. Um, so it was just funny um, that I had that pre-existing relationship during this process, and um, you know it was a little uh, funny when I came here the second time around. Um, you know, because I played against all the girls except the freshmen, but the, everyone has been great. I uh, give a little crap here and there about how I went to BU, but uh, <laughs> nothing too crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's been great so far, and I'm just so happy and so thankful that everyone's been so welcoming. And what are, you, what are your duties as the director of basketball operations? So basically, I um, take over all the administrative side of things, so team travel, hotels, restaurants when we're on the road, uh, flights, everything like that. Um, and then just little things like mail outs to recruits and stuff. Um, so yeah. It's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> yeah, it is. So now, how long is your typical day? Like when do you get in, when do you um, leave? Just like the coaches. Um, you don't want to say nine to five. That was more like preseason was nine to five. But now that we're in season, uh, I'll probably, it's kind of all day. Uh, probably get in at 10 and then we have practice usually till six. So, um, and then when we're on the road, obviously I'm with them, so. Yeah, I mean, it's a crazy job, but I love it. Right. It's something you love, so you, yes. don't, you don't count the hours. Um, your coach at BU and Coach Gibbons are friendly, and, and so I know he called her and she recommended you. What did, what did she say to you? Did she call you and say, hey, the Holy Cross coach just called me about you? What did, what did she say to you and how did that help, too? So, yeah, Coach Setting was great through this process. Um, so her and I kind of talked when we let the season finish out, and she knew I wanted to coach for a while uh, when I was done playing. So. Um, we just had a talk and we talked about where I wanted to be, you know, where my geographical location for where I wanted to go to coach if I could. Um, so I said I'd really like to try to stay in New England, Massachusetts if I could since I'm from here. Right. Um, so I called Coach Gibbons and he said, you know, just wait on it. So then I went back to her and she, her and Coach Gibbons talked and I don't know, one thing led to another, like I said, and it was That's just great. really great, yeah. It's really good. And being from Medway, too, that you're not that far, yeah. you know, it's a, it's a fairly easy commute, uh, so it really probably couldn't have worked out any better no. that you get Division One, right. <laughs> Director of Basketball Operations, and you can still live at home and commute. Right, exactly. No, I, I'm just so thankful every day that I have this opportunity. Being in Massachusetts, being from here, it's just so great. And then lastly, you talked about how you, know, you guys will give each other a little crap back and forth <laughs> the players. Was there, was there anyone that you remembered, like, in terms of from, from your playing, that um, was there any, like, you know, oh, yeah, that one threw me, she threw me an elbow, <laughs> or there was a little trash talk there? Uh, no trash talk or anything, but actually two specific people that I remembered, um, and I was kind of nervous, actually, coming here when I got the job was uh, Infinity and Trisha Byrne. I was just like, <laughs> oh, my gosh, I don't know how it, because we would always go at it. So, right. uh, but no trash talk or anything like that. I mean, they're great players, and... Um, no, they've just been really great and really welcoming. That's great. Well, Sarah, thanks for joining us, and yes. good luck this season. Thank you so much. That's Sarah Hope, the Director of Basketball Operations. We'll be back with more of the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show right after this. Bay State Savings Bank brings you... Kasasa. What's Kasasa? It's a catchy word for earning cash that just might make you want to dance. Get paid for doing simple things you do anyway. That's free Casasa checking. Ask for Casasa by name at Bay State Savings Bank, proud sponsor of the Friday Night Football Frenzy. Before or after the Crusaders hit the court, come on down to Bentley Pub in Auburn, Route 12 near the junction of the Mass Pike. Visit us online at BentleyPub.com. Providing our customers with the highest level of quality, service, and value. Poochie's Fine Jewelry, 205 West Boylston Street in West Boylston. New Tech Design is a proud supporter of Holy Cross Women's Basketball. Custom printing, embroidery, promotional items, and more. Visit us online at newtechdesigngroup.com. City Trophy, conveniently located at 32 Auburn Street in Auburn. Visit us 
us at the Commercial Fruit and Garden Outlet. Personalized fruit and gift baskets for the holidays or any occasion. 1050 Southbridge Street on the Worcester Auburn Line. Beautiful to look at, delicious to eat. After the game, come on down to Flip Flops on Main Street in Holden. Good food, good friends, good times. Flip Flops on Main Street in Holden. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by The Boynton, 117 Highland Street in Worcester. Visit us online at BoyntonRestaurant.com. It's Meze Greek Tapas Bar and Grill, Worcester's only authentic Greek tapas, 156 Shrewsbury Street in Worcester. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by The Texas Roadhouse, Lincoln Plaza in Worcester. Wings Over Worcester, right in the heart of Worcester at 1 Kelly Square. Order online at wingsover.com. The Hilton Garden Inn in Worcester is a proud sponsor of Holy Cross Women's Basketball, conveniently located on Major Taylor Boulevard in Worcester. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by Tavern in the Square, now open in Lakeway Commons on Route 9 in Shrewsbury. Portions of the Holy Cross Basketball Show are brought to you by Girton Graphics, Southbridge Street in downtown Worcester. All right, welcome back, everyone. Well, Coach, you and I are talking about it uh, during the break there. Four of your next five at home, starting with Sunday against Albany. Right. Your four of your first five were on the road, but right. now you're back here, you're at home. What's the advantages to having a, a home stretch and a longer home stretch, too, that spans over a couple weeks? Yeah, well, I think it's key, especially with the girls getting into studies and the tough, uh, you know, finals and stuff uh, and, and a lot of tests. They're good to be home, get their rest get in the friendly confines of the hot center. Hopefully, we had a great crowd at our home opener, and hopefully for those four games, well, we know we'll have a great one December 20th with the, right. the, the, the kids, kids game, day. but uh, for the Albany, BC, Vermont stretch, uh, you know, just gives us energy. We, we lose the Bryant game if we don't have the band, I don't think, never mind the crowd, so just nice to be playing at home. Now, looking at this team, too, and you talked about the, the jump that the sophomore class made. Uh, the freshmen and what they've given you and, and people that are coming back. What, you know, you've been up here for 34 years. 37, 33 is the 33 with the women, 37 possible. overall. Yeah, doesn't seem possible. How yeah. good can this team be just with what you've seen in the preseason, what you've seen through the first couple of weeks of the regular season? Well, I, I have a passion to bring us back to the top of the league. Can this team do it? Yes. This team can definitely compete for a Patriot League championship if we if we stay healthy, there's no question in my mind. So I, I don't like to compare teams, Kev, I'll look back, but I know this team at this time, chemistry-wise, talent-wise, you know, if they continue to stay together, I said it was like, it's like going up a mountain, and if you lose one guy along the way, you're not gonna make it to the top of the mountain. You gotta stay together, and there's gonna be blizzards, and there's gonna be times that you're down. You gotta stay together then. It's easy when you're zipping up there to stay right. together, but. You know, so that's the analogy that it's a long mountain climb. Uh, but to answer your question, this team can compete for a championship. I'm excited about this team, and uh, I have a passion to bring us back, and I think this team has a passion to win a Patriot League championship and hang another banner. So I um, hope it happens, but it's a long season. we got to stay together. Wednesday, December 6th is the Boston College game. On uh, TV, Saturday, please. December 9th is the Vermont Vermont's. game. And, of course, Lauren Manis' mom played hoops at Vermont, so right. that one's going to be big for her. For the Jesuits, the Holy Cross BC rivalry oh, is always that's big. Always so big some big games too in this next stretch yep. at home. Uh, yep. How much do you like playing some of the top teams from other conferences and kind of measuring yourself? Yeah, playing ACC school. I mean, we always go out and play people. Uh, the tough four games on the road, but they're, they're going to make us better. BC is going to make us better. At URI from the Atlantic 10, it's going to make us better. We know our ticket is the is the Patriot League, so um, always been my philosophy: go out and play people. And, uh, and get better, and this will challenge us, but I'm excited for it. All right, Coach, thanks for joining us, and best of luck this next stretch at home. Another good one in the books. Thanks, We're Kev. on our good way. We're underway. Keep Thank watching. you for watching the Holy Cross Women's Basketball Show. We'll see you again real soon.